much. It's extremely frightening. I mean, I hear this every day, whether it's somebody in Broward County or somebody throughout the state of Florida and being the union president, we're the, you know, fifth largest union uh, teachers, you know, union in the, in the country. Now to a CBS 4 News exclusive. Broward Teachers Union President Anna Fusco says multiple teachers are dead after contracting COVID and dying within a 24 hour span. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo is live for us with more tonight. Jessica. That's right, Lauren. And we just learned from her that three of those teachers were unvaccinated. The fourth one still unknown if he or she had a vaccine. In less than one day this week, between Tuesday and Wednesday, COVID-19 has claimed the lives of three Broward County school teachers and one of its assistant teachers. In a 24-hour span, we had a, uh, t a, an ESP pass away, a teacher at her school also pass away, another teacher at another elementary school pass away, and another teacher at a high school. When it comes to picking its victims, the virus does not discriminate. Broward Teachers Union president says she hears about such tragedy way too often. It's extremely frightening. I mean, I hear this every day, whether it's somebody in Broward County or somebody throughout the state of Florida. And Dr. Rosalind Osgood, the chair of the Broward County School Board, says they mourn the loss of four of their own. You know, I've been on the school board for nine years, and for nine years, you interact with people you get to know them, you get to love them. So a lot of them are like my family. The teachers, ironically, all dying around the same time Broward County School Board voted to defy Governor DeSantis's order to drop the mask mandate. The board choosing its own move when it comes to masks. I am still in dismay about the last couple of weeks of action. Our state government being our governor and our commission of education. So I was very shocked that we got such a backlash and have subsequently received so many threats about our decision to mandate masks. Despite the dangers, the governor is sticking to his guns. Obviously, we believe that the parent rather than the government should ultimately be able to make that decision. And more than 800 doctors have signed a letter to the governor to repeal his anti-mask mandate. You'll hear more on that at 11. In Fort Lauderdale, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News. Jessica, thank you.